Hello, so in this video, I'd like to share with you Video Tool Chest version 1.0. So we are now on our release version. We've got all 10 tools here. We've added Video Joiner. Uh, Carl will spend a lot of time on Video Joiner to make it a really great app. And so let me go ahead and start with that. Uh, you can see here that um, most of everything that you need uh, to composite videos together is really just located here. We're really not uh, in video other tools like uh, ScreenFlow, which I use um, often. A lot of the functionalities that are shown here uh, kind of are hidden. I'd have to kind of know where they are. But in Video Joiner, they're all right here ready for you to, to go. So all I just need to do is uh, import some audio or some, some media. So let's go ahead and import some media here. And you see here that I've got a video. My timeline is here. So there's the video actually there. It's a little bit of the hair moving here. And I'm just going to move it over here. And I'm going to just go to the end here and add another video. It's just stuff I happen to have on my desktop. And it just popped there. Now notice that I can kind of move it. There's a, one option here is uh, block uh, the snapped edges. So what's going to happen here is if I move this, get it close there, it's going to go ahead and I just do it. And you see how it just snapped over right next to that next video. So I, it's going to go ahead and play one after the other. And so you don't have to kind of eyeball it. You, it it'll snap into position. Um, the way it works is if you're to the left of the center, then, you know, it will snap to uh, the right edge of a block of a, another video. And if you're at the right of the center, it'll snap over here to the other side. So if I had a video, if I had, uh, had another video over here, I could snap it to that one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's just the beginning. You have, of course, you have, you now add, can add more video layers and audio layers. You can have a bunch of layers here. You can actually scroll them here. Now, uh, using your trackpad, I only have two here, so I'm not going to be able to demonstrate that, but you should be able to scroll them. Um, you can move them up and down in terms of the Z order. If, if one was on top of the other one, say I did something like this, where one is on top of the other one. If I wanted to move this one up, I could move it to the top, and it's going to display over the top of the previous video. So you have stuff like that. Now, one of the you know really important things that you often need to do is either trim a video, which is... Right now it's in trim mode, so if I go to the edge of a video and I go like this, it's going to trim, it's going to cut off, it's going to reduce the number of seconds of the overall video, right? Um, but if I go to scale mode, what's going to happen is it's going to keep the entire remaining video, but it's I can make it longer or shorter. So if I want to slow it down, I can make it longer. If I want to speed it up, I, it'll go here, but it's going to otherwise contain the overall video. <clears throat> so... This is very handy when you're trying to match your, your video to audio. And let's say you've created a template in another product. There's all kinds of uh, template products out there. And let's say the video is 12 seconds long and you need it to be 13.4 seconds long in order to match your audio. Uh, so you can go ahead and turn on the scale and then uh, drag it uh, the left or right hand side of the video block and you can make it match your audio. So that's uh, very handy and useful. And so you'll get uh, some information here. The overall time is what a little over four seconds and it's now 0.98. Uh, so it gives you some idea. So if I drag this over here, you'll see that it's, it's two times as fast and it's only 1.9 seconds and so forth. So you get some information there as well. And there is also information on the block. It's a little bit harder to, to read because it's kind of small there but uh, you, you, you get the idea. Now, um, another thing that I can do is I can, I, I can see that, uh, let's see, um, I should be able to move it, maybe I can't. Let's go back to trim and see. Um, when you first import your video, at least, yeah, there's, there's one that I can still move around and size. Uh, you, you can see I can also t uh, size it dimensional. So I, let's go over and move and see what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about this video now. There seems to be a, a bunch of extra stuff in that video, um, but I really just wanted to focus in on that only, and so I can do that. If I wanted to size it, I can do the actual size is 1280 by 720, uh, the dimensions of the stage that is, and I could size it and position it as well. And you can see here that I can also um, numerically position it so I can make sure that it's the upper left corner is at zero, zero, which means that now it's filling the entire stage. So you have the ability to numerically, numerically size and numerically position your videos as well. 
So um, you also have audio, you can import audio and you can uh, lay your videos over the audio. Uh, really just, uh, this is designed to be a uh, rudimentary compositing tool so that you combine all your videos together, video join, jo combine or join them. Um, video compositing is a standard uh, terminology used in the industry, but you know we wanted to you know, make it a little bit clearer to, to those who aren't in the industry, so that's why we named it Video Joiner. Of course, you can export your video, and that's going to have, have you know created that final video for you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out here just to demonstrate one other thing that's been added here, and that is the ability to um, let's go ahead and import this video and uh, you see here now I can loop the video. So uh, this is kind of handy because a lot of GIF animations or uh, you know and such are really short. You know um, you might go to jiffy.com and download one of their mp4s and it uh, a lot of times there may be like two seconds long and you may want the overall video to last like 10 seconds so this allows you to loop the video on export and so that's a, a, a nice feature that's been added to the social meme creator um, in addition to this we've improved some uh, let's see i think video overlayer had a bug fix where uh, the uh, if, you, if the, uh, the video had audio it wasn't exporting so that's been fixed um, but now again we have 10 uh, total tools and video tool chest a final note is that the uh, the let's see what it's called soundtrack creator that we were originally was here is going to be an 11th tool that's going to be a free bonus when we get uh, it created but we now have 10 complete tools in video tool chest the 11th tool will be a separate tool uh, again that's going to be soundtrack creator uh, and we'll get to that as soon as we can but uh, video tool chest again now a complete tool set there uh, with 10 tools uh, video compositing tool there uh, you know a lot of people buy uh, programs like Camtasia and ScreenFlow just to be able to do what uh, that does and uh, so now you have a much more affordable and and uh, easy to use uh, video compositing tool where all of the key tools for putting videos together are all just kind of in one place instead of having to learn uh, the ver the buried features uh, I remember when I needed to do the the scaling feature it took me about an hour to figure out how to do that in ScreenFlow. And so you don't have to figure that out. It's all right here. And uh, so I hope you like this. Thanks a lot for uh, checking this out and for your support with Video Tool Chest.